Hello everyone, this is Flosscat, and welcome to another reaction. Let me zoom that in. It's a little blurry, but it'll be fine. And yeah, welcome to another reaction, where today we'll be reacting to... To Internet Cities, reacting to Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, this is very interesting. Because not only this is... Larry action to probably a recent big YouTube that's coming up. Like, I really recommend you check out Internet City. But this is also a double whammy because I just recently heard this. Not like today, of course. But I didn't know there was a movie coming out that we have Godzilla, the Japanese Jaizu lizard dude, versus Kong, King Kong, the... Monkey who loves women so much that he sexually assaults them, taking them off the building. And that, I'm just saying that what it is. That's literally what it is. That's literally kidnapping women. Okay. And admittedly, I may be boasting a little bit, but that's only because I may be able to do two videos today. I don't really have much. I already uploaded a, um, um, a... Super Smash Brothers video, so that's going up actually right now, and GP Reads already react to it, he loved it, which makes sense because I found this hilarious clip and blah blah blah, but make a long story short, it's a very good video, I'm trying to start, going to start pumping out more of those things, it's going to be called, Character is Badass, not character, but you know, like Joker is Badass, and you know, that's what the BA stands for, because they really are. But yeah, pretty much after that, I don't have nothing to do. So let's go ahead and react to this. And it's been a while since I reacted. I'm also planning to do another reaction to another video. But I gotta see if I'm willing to. But anyways, let's do this. We know Internet City. Yeah, just to give you guys a warning. Uh, I just checked this phone. It's heating up like a Baconator. or so. We need to be careful with this. But, you know, because I'm starting... All, all I'm saying is Atomic Breath should rip through a giant monkey. That's like an AK-47. As you can see, my guy got brains. He got, he got weapons. He's he still going to get cooked. What did you <laughs> back? He's still going to get cooked. Like, oh, no! That's your eye! That's what he was saying. Remember, you remember when it was like Japanese, but they used the AK-47. We're not going to talk about that. Look, I wasn't expecting this trailer to come out. I had no idea. You knew about it? I knew the movie was coming out. You knew the movie? I didn't know. I, I didn't even know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I did not know this Everybody thing. I did it. I'm with him. I did not know this. But then again, I'm not really into that much of monster movies. But still, I didn't know that it was coming out. And this does sound interesting. Let's get into it. Hold on, hold on. Before we even hit play, who's your money on for the fight? Godzilla. I'm telling you now, Godzilla. I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah, Godzilla. What the hell is a giant monkey going to do? <laughs> We've seen this from the animation. It, I believe those results. Yeah, I do, but then again, they could go for the former. I mean, that is a good point. Like, it's kind of hilarious because that would literally have... A, that would be an interesting death battle if Death Pal actually does all that. But... Facts! <laughs> but then again, I don't know either, so... Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Uh-huh. They're freaking okay. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Okay, I already get where they're going with this. Okay, it's our only chance to fight off a lizard, bring another monster into the battle. What the actual fuck? That's the most stupidest thing ever. I mean, yes, I get what you're thinking. Okay, bring another monster and screw each other, but yeah, remember that's. Who, what if one monster does beat the other monster and actually concede? Plus, I also know these monster movies and other animal movies like freaking Planet of the Apes to, I don't know, even Pokemon. Yeah, even Pokemon can count in this. You really don't want to mess with a fork in nature. That's the point. Yeah, they captured him. How the hell they even capture him? I wonder. Actually, no. Okay, you might kick my ass for this. I don't know, because I did see that. But, is this a sequel to Skull Island? Because I actually seen Skull Island. In fact, I watched it with my father and my brother. Even though, the funny thing was, I was playing Metopia the whole freaking 
well, half of the time, I was paying attention, but is this like a sequel to it? Because it looks so like that. Is that the same Kong from the last movie, The Skull Island? That don't yeah, that's what I was saying. The world needs that. To stop what's coming. And this child, she's the only one he'll communicate with. I knew that they had a bond. She had nowhere to go, so I made a promise to protect her. I know. Oh shit. Oh, he shark taped them. That's what he did to the Really? 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 I mean, okay, I understand there's gotta be stupid people in these monster movies, believe me, but once when you fire one missile, that's it. If it doesn't destroy, find somewhere else to destroy it. That's easiest thing, but I don't know. Yep. Let him loose. Let him loose. It's Godzilla. Oh yeah, Godzilla. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, it's just one big fat ass shark. Like one. I said monkey, you already said girl my Anyway, look, that's bad luck to be in a situation where both these motherfuckers live or fighting. Bro, and ding ding ding! This is again, this is and PS, that's the reason why this is a fucking stupid idea. Like, it's like saying, oh, so they're playing to put us in it's like the freaking Cold War, but then it turns to a hot war and blow us up the bits. Like, it's like saying, oh, you're going to summon a black hole. Well, how about I fire a freaking atomic bomb at you? Let's see how that... That's a stupid idea because both will end in disaster. What the fuck? What? Oh, goodness, what the fuck, bro? Like, oh, my goodness, yeah, bro. cheeseburger. But it looked like they made uh, Godzilla smaller, though. Like, from what I remember in the last movie, he was giant. Enormous. I think they really it could made. just be a little trailer for this. Well, well, to be fair, okay, if we are basing this off the Skull Island, because I actually do believe this might be a sequel, it is worth noting that Godzilla is made by a different company. Like, Warner Brothers or whoever does this guy do in the Godzilla movies did, you know, translate and blah, blah. But that was different from the... From, you know, if we're even talking about the more recent Godzillas, they're still made from Japan, of course. That's actually a fact. So, the reason why Godzilla might be smaller is due to copyright and they're probably like, you know, da-da-da. That's my only theory on that. I don't know. It's different company, different thing. Doesn't mean the Godzilla is still, I mean, it's still probably obviously copyrighted, but it doesn't mean that Warren World can still get the rights. It's just that they might have to change a few things. It's like Bayonetta and Smash. He was too tall, they had to shrunk her down. That's actually a fact. Look it up. Oh, damn! Really? Oh, really? These are dangerous times. Oh, wow. I'll uh, figure it out. There was a war. No fucking way! Hang on a second. That was a fucking beam of light. That was a laser beam of freaking light. You're not telling me that Kong, which is literally just a big fat freaking mammal, bones and flesh and everything, is that powerful to catch a fucking laser beam like that? What the actual fuck? 
look, look, I'm telling you. King Kong out here look like a nigga getting ready to pop. Have we been big this entire time? No, I just did it. Look, I ain't gonna cap, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I'm gonna be 100 percent, 100 percent. If Godzilla loses, it's bullshit. I actually don't agree. Know what I've now, seen, like, oh, I actually think there's another enemy that they gonna fight. Like they clash yeah, and then they come together and fight. Well, that's well done because usually at these versus movies, that's usually it. Except for except for Jason versus Freddy Krueger, that actually is a fight. But other than that, all like freaking Superman versus Batman, then versus versus a very kid looking Lex Luthor. That's actually a fact because it kind of is looking. Was he because it was a kid? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention too much to the film, but I do know that Lex Luthor. Later on, they fought Lex Luthor and blah, blah, blah. My point is, when it comes to Versus series, it usually ain't Versus. The only time they actually did it correctly with Versus was Freddy Cooker versus Jason. Because, you know, you know they kind of did a reverse on that movie. It'd be like, okay, well, first of all, they become t- group members and then they fight each other. But that's only because Freddy Cooker tricked them. Long story short, there's no surprise if that was the case. Because that's what usually happens to. All, I, all I'm saying is atomic breath should rip through a giant. Exactly. And although I didn't know it was atomic, but then again, I keep forgetting Godzilla back backstory was even though they're now look like they're changing the crap out of it, which is shocking. But he. In the originals, he was, like, pretty much born from an atomic bomb. That's actually a fact. Which is nuts. But anyways, my point is, there's no way. But then again, I don't know. These ancient creatures of craziness is the thing. He's got a shade cook. As you can see in that clip, it wasn't fully cooking that your cousin. Why are you defending your cousin? Damn. <laughs> Put your paws up. Oh man, but yeah, if you real want to do crew, and you made it this far, comment who you think gonna win. That's what I was gonna say. Comment who you think. Um, I think Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, Godzilla. All right, so yeah, that was it, Godzilla. That's my action, and that's what I'm gonna do. Once this thing gets out, uploaded, I'm gonna post it on there. You know, they're on their freaking video, you know, Godzilla, and, you know, just let them know I reacted to this video, which I hope they see this, but, you know, that's a, them, I don't care. But still, that, I'm still calling, yeah, I'm calling bullshit foul, there's no fucking way. That is, that is literally, I mean, I don't even know what to say anymore, that's, oh boy. But then again, that's what you get for these crazy reboots and stuff, but still, that's actually pretty interesting. Like, I'm not saying the concept is crazy. It actually is genius because it's been, like, literally that's like a good matchup that never happened until now. Godzilla versus King Kong. The problem is, even though, I don't know what that laser is made of, but it's a freaking laser. It's light. You don't, light in that level, especially that heat, especially if it's atomic, could burn the crap out of you and kill you. You're not telling me that a freaking monkey is gonna catch that freaking light like a freaking Dragon Ball Z character. Some sort of, like what character I can think of other than Dragon Ball Z that has captured light before. Not many actually. I think Sonic series did, but I don't know. But still, you cannot do that is the foul. But then again, I don't know. But still, it is interesting. I may later on look it up and see if this is a sequel to Skull Island, because I've seen Skull Island, and even though I wasn't too interested in it too much, I mean, again, like I would say, I'll play 3DS with Metopia, it was still a pretty good movie. It was actually pretty good. It was not not my cup of tea, but it was still pretty awesome. But still, uh, my opinion is, I do agree that may where it goes, especially the way the trailer looks. But then again, they could at least... Because like I said, Jason and Freddy Krueger is the only time. And I definitely am probably wrong. I'm not even going to deny that part. But the reason why I still back up to that statement is because literally it super feels like it. Unless there is, have been other times there was a versus that worked. 
And I'm not counting Sonic versus Mario because that's a whole, that's definitely a different story. But point is, only Jason and Furry Cooker so far that I've seen has done that shit right. And usually when it comes to these versus movies, usually it's them later beating the crap out of each other. And then like, oh wait, there's a bigger enemy. Let's beat up that guy. Which is... Apparently, take, like, why don't they just use Anne instead of Versus? I mean, no criticism to the film because it's still awesome. And there's no doubt they're all going to fight. But it breaks the point. They should just put, like, Godzilla and Kong. Not Godzilla versus Kong because, I mean, again, I, I'm not even critiquing, crew and critiquing because we don't know yet if his crew is going to be a big character. Or a better example, actually, not using that film because we don't know yet. It should be Superman and Batman rather than Superman versus Batman. Because there's one final enemy that the two have to team up. And while, yes, they do beat the crap out of each other, they later on become allies. Which makes zero sense. It really does make zero sense. Like, why the hell do we use versus when we should use and? I know I'm being an idiot for this, but still, that's my opinion. And, you know, I know it's kind of stupid, really, because there are possibly reasons, but it just feels like the only time a movie truly used Versus was Jason versus Freddy. And I could be wrong. There could be other media that did that as well, but that's my point, because there's very rarely any media that used the Versus correctly. This might be a game changer. They might actually use Versus correctly. I don't know. But still... Not saying that the movie is going to be bad. I actually think it's going to be awesome. I mean, obviously not my cup of tea that much. But still, I'm actually happy they finally... They finally use Godzilla versus Kong in this. And man, I just realized how long this is. Freaking 17 fucking minutes. Oh well. Then again, I was making this as a re reaction video. What time is it? Oh yeah, I gotta start going outside now. Thank goodness I got this done. It's a long story. But anyways, yeah, that was me reacting to them, reacting to Godzilla. Um, I'm hoping this thing doesn't get too badly copyrighted, but then again, who knows. Um, but yeah, and, you know, I'm snapping out of here. This has been Floxcat, snapping out of here. Bye.